Oh, tonight on Normal World, we're going to be discussing how Burning Man is flooded. Jill Biden has COVID. And Garrett did a massive food challenge, so stay tuned. Hello and welcome. I hope you're having a normal evening. Now for tonight's news. If you're unfamiliar with Burning Man, uh, over the weekend it was flooded. And what it is, is it's where rich people go to the desert and basically build a city just to burn it down. Where I come from, we call that Detroit. (laughs) Derek? Oh, all right. Dodgers pitcher Julio Urias has been suspended after being charged with domestic violence. Urias, known for his knuckler, is also a pretty good pitcher. (laughs) Wow. Fossil abuse joke. (laughs) Matt McClowry. With thousands of people caked in filth, Going to the bathroom in buckets and women with armpit hair as far as the eye can see, this year's Burning Man is being described as every music festival that has ever happened. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Uh, Over the long weekend, uh, Jimmy Buffett and uh, Steve Harwell, the lead singer of Smash Mouth, passed away. Uh, Since these things usually happen in threes, many are worried that the next musician to go might actually be good. (laughs) Oh, wait. Oh, hang on. This just in. Uh, Gary Gary Wright, who sang Dreamweaver, has passed away at the age of 80. No. Yeah, so no. Oh, people at Burning Man are reportedly digging through mud and finding White House classified documents. (laughs) And an old Corvette. (laughs) All you, baby. At a gender reveal party in Mexico, a plane that was going to drop pink or blue smoke crashed, producing black smoke, which tells everyone that the couple is adopting. <laughs> and that is tonight's monologue. Ooh. Ba boom boom. There you go. All right. Let's meet our panel and our guest host. First of all, Derek Richards. How are you? But how about you, sir? You're doing fantastic. Thank, thank you, you for, so much. Thank you for coming back to the show. Thank you for having me. And also a contributing writer and good friend, Matthew McClowery. Howdy, everyone. And let's not forget producer Angela. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. What's up? Good weekend? Yeah. Super. <laughs> <laughs> She's not much into detail, is she? No. She's funny your business. It keeps everything a secret. It's like She's a deputy picture. <laughs> yes. Did you go to Burning Man? <laughs> no, I, I, uh, my, no. <laughs> you, you've stumbled on that. <laughs> Have you been to Burning Man? I can't. No, um, no. I, well, Sorry. it wasn't officially Burning Man, but she yeah. was at a Burning Man like. I've experience. seen a man burning. Yes, but saw. that's a crime, and I can't talk about that that's on the true. air. Yes, Richard Pryor. So uh, heavy rain and massive flooding uh, at the music festivals uh, is what happened. Authorities are investigating one death. Uh, organi- organizers advised visitors to uh, you know take shelter. Um, you know, can serve water, food, and uh, TikTok videos show people wandering around barefoot uh, in mud. Here's one. Or not. I hate you. <laughs> Have you ever been to a festival like that? No. 
I've been to shows like outdoor concerts where it rained and it was just uh, like back in the days in Detroit, go to Pine Knob. Right. You'd be on the hill because you buy a ticket there back in the day where it was like 10 bucks and it would rain and it was just a disaster. It was just, it was just a mud fest and everybody was, you know, doing head first slides down the, down the hill, completely bombed out of their minds. And, um, I'm like, no, I will never sit on the lawn again. I am now going to buy a seat in the pavilion. Yeah, like a grown man. Like a grown man. And, and enjoy the show shirt. that way. Yeah. And, and wear this shirt. Exactly. Festive. Thank you. Matt, you have been to one of those festivals? No, uh, I have autism and my dad used to make me do push-ups, so I've never been to a concert. <laughs> <laughs> So, Angela, when did you go? <laughs> like 2012. <laughs> which one? What do you mean, which one? Which go to Burning Man? Well, no, but I've been to some music festivals, like Warp Tour and stuff like that. But yeah, me too. Yeah, Bonnaroo? I don't think that counts. Yeah, I didn't make it to Bonnaroo, but I would have gone. I only recently started doing... Ah, uh, we don't... Festivals. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was... Uh, I went to Bonnaroo. That was a uh, a nightmare. I urinated on a woman's tent. I was drunk, and she was very upset. And I was like, look, uh, it's a music festival, and I can't find a bathroom, and I didn't know you were in there. That was, that was your explanation? Where, yeah, was where, where, where was this at? Tennessee. It's in the middle of Tennessee, in the middle of the it's dead, dead of summer, hot as hell. Right. And I had to go to the bathroom. And you I didn't was, play it off like it was part of the thing? Like, I thought this was the piss tent. I don't I, know. No, I was like, I well, it was like next to her tent, but it was so much urine. So I was holding it in that it leaked into her tent while she was sleeping. And she starts screaming at me. And it's like, what are you going to do? Tell the cops? <laughs> it's just a giant party with everybody on drugs. Yeah, I pissed on your tent. Mm -hmm. It's just some old lady who looked like the gypsy from Thinner. <laughs> <laughs> who cares? Like this, it's like you probably have eight cats in there. Like there's nothing clean about you. Anyway, in case you didn't notice uh, or you didn't hear about this, a lot of people are getting trench foot because the mud is, it, which is a nice way to say foot rot. Yes. So what happens is their foot starts to uh, basically rot away. And turn into Mitch McConnell. This becomes Mitch McConnell, totally useless and stiff. But fortunately... Thanks to one of our sponsors, they have come up with a way to combat trench foot with new Bernactin. Trench foot be gone. There are hundreds of people who got stuck at Burning Man because of monsoon season, and trench foot is spreading. That's why your friends at Bernactin have invented an all new foot spray. Trench be gone. It'll cure your trench foot right away. Wow, my feet feel so much better. And it will take away any of your desires to ever go to Burning Man again. Is that why I suddenly feel like putting out a tip hat and playing the kazoo for money isn't a real job? That's right. I just used Bernactin Trench Be Gone and my feet feel brand new. And I don't at all feel like driving out to the desert and rolling on Molly and dancing all weird like rich white kids do. Thanks to the people of Bernactin, my Tootsies have never felt such a tingle of cleanliness. And I can't believe I was considering bringing my baby to Burning Man. Seriously, people do that. Bernactin Trench Be Gone. Because music festivals are gross. That's right, everybody. Bernactin Trench Be Gone. So in case you ever feel like going back to Burning Man or have trench foot, you can use that. Pick it up at CVS, Walgreens, or some of those places. <laughs> I just love these people that have gone back to Burning Man like 12 years in a row. I don't get why you would go during monsoon season. Like, yeah. Lake Havasu refilled. Mm -hmm. That's how bad it is. And there's only one person missing, or at least that's like a, the person they care about. There's probably at least four or five unicyclists that have gone missing and no one really knows. Somebody, well, and the dead person probably just realized they were at Burning Man and just killed himself. <laughs> Chris Rock, I like how Chris Rock and like four other people got right out of there. Chris Rock and Diplo, I guess. Diplo, they yeah. ended up a, a walking car. six miles and then some fans picked him up. Wouldn't you? I'd pull up and be like, Chris Rock, get in and he'd be like, yeah, I didn't really want to be here anyway. 
I remember Diplo was complaining. I don't even know who Diplo is. He's complaining. All Chris Rock wanted was a cold brew coffee. I was tired of hearing him talk about all he wanted was a cold brew coffee. And I'm like, you're in a van with Chris Rock. Who the fuck are you? I'm sorry. No, it's true, though. Like, that's <laughs> not Diplo. Asking. So it's not much of a rider. Yeah. That's all he wanted at all of Burning Man was a cold brew coffee. Meanwhile, half the people there have stuffed kilos inside themselves. Also, you're a yeah, DJ and you're hanging out with Chris Rock. Yeah, I don't. Uh, don't you think you out hit your coverage? <laughs> I, I don't know what DJs do other than appear on billboards above the strip. I believe at one time they played records. Yeah. And now I don't know. Because the last record to actually scratch was in a, an 80s movie. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was when a white guy walked into an all black classroom. <laughs> Yeah, what, 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 he, he scrolls on an iPhone like everybody else and makes seven figures for it? From what I can tell, Diplo does. I like DJ Kid Koala. I saw him at the Electronic Music Fest. See? Garbage. <laughs> I've been to these things. <laughs> so the one in Detroit? Yeah, I was rolling on E. You, you were rolling on Yellow Pikachu? I was rolling on, <laughs> yes, I actually, it was either Yellow Pikachu or Orange Butterfly. Maybe some Batman double stacks. I have no frame of reference for that other than I had a friend in high school who bought a Dodge uh, Viper with that that he immediately totaled from selling it. Oh, from selling yeah, it? Yeah, from oh, selling wow. it. Oh, yeah. wow. No, you could make a nice profit on it. Did he drive on it? Oh, he oh. drove, uh, yeah, briefly, yeah. Yeah, he drove for about five minutes. Drove into a tree on it. <laughs> How's he doing? He made love to a tree. Uh, he's a social worker now. Oh, is he really? Yeah. Does he talk about the time that he drove his Viper into a tree high on Molly or ecstasy? Uh, probably. Oh, yeah. nice. Good that's, kid. That's the person you want handling your kids. Yeah. Well, I think your you foster can. your foster program. I'd rather have a guy who's experienced. True. Because who else is going to sell your kid drugs <laughs> and can literally explain the side effects? Yeah, because, because he went through them. It'd be funny. He'd be like, look, you can make a lot of money, like Dodge Viper money. However, you don't want to drive it while you're rolling on ecstasy. Well, this is probably just Flintstone chewables. <laughs> <laughs> you could sell anything as With like a little household cleaning agent on it. Well, a lot of it was. Yeah. yeah. Candy necklace sprayed with Windex. Candy necklaces were popular back then. Mm -hmm. And pacifiers. So you could put that in your mouth, dance around with glow sticks, big giant baby, <laughs> giant homosexual baby. Mm. Your old friends would hate you now if they weren't all dead. I know, right? <laughs> 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 oh, isn't that the truth? I think there's still three left. I'm not sure if they watch. I can't the believe program. Dave's on a conservative <laughs> network. I'm going to give him a piece of my mind next time I ask him for money. Yeah. <laughs> Which is a thing that happens. But. All the time. <laughs> Dave, All I don't like that. Can <laughs> I have $150 from it? Constantly. <laughs> it's, it's, I don't understand why you're not more about my cause. Can I have some money? You'll take money from my cause? Well, yeah. I don't really, I don't work. <laughs> You know, don't worry, if you think it's you, it probably is, but it could be several other people, too. Yeah, I feel like it's them. <laughs> it is them. It's called child abuse. So I, um, <laughs> speaking of, of not that, I've been losing some LBs. You're probably wondering how, but you're not. But boom, magic spoon. I'm going to tell you a little story about cereal. I tried Reese's Cup cereal. One time, and I was excited to try it because I'll be honest, I can be a little piggy. And I had put it off for a long time to try because I thought that's got to be disgusting or either as good as heroin. And when I tried the Reese's Cup cereal, it was as good as heroin. But I had like a hangover from it, like a horrible, horrific hangover. And I never really thought that I would find cereal that I actually liked that had like a peanut butter flavor that was actually as good. And I actually have. It's Magic Spoon, and I'm losing weight doing it, and I don't wake up uh, feeling like I was doing keg stands all night long because there's not a ton of sugar in it. In fact, this has zero grams of sugar. Isn't that something? Mm hmm Sure is. Wow. Well, that's, my, that's my favorite flavor, the frosted one. I know. Then they're just like frosted flakes, except it's not killing you. Mm-hmm. 
So you have 13 to 14 grams of protein, five, four to five net carbs, and only 140 calories per serving, as opposed to the 11,000 I had when I used to eat super sugary cereal. But it is. It's, it's high in protein. It's gluten-free, grain-free, and soy-free. So you don't have to feel like a silly soy boy just because it's gluten-free. So, you know, Magic Spoon, my favorite's the peanut butter. Derek digs on... The frosted, frosted flakes. Angela, what do you do? I like the cocoa. You like the cocoa? Yeah, or, or the fr- or the fruity. They're like the puffs. Yeah. So I go like to the crunch. Yeah, I do too. So go to magicspoon.com slash normal to grab a variety pack and try it today. And be sure to use promo code normal. You know how to spell that at checkout to save five dollars off your order. If you don't like it for any reason, they'll refund your money. Who does that? Who does that? Magic Any, Spoon. <laughs> Magic Spoon does that. That's about the only people. So go there, try it. High protein cereal. It's delicious. You're going to enjoy it. I promise. Magicspoon.com slash normal. And use the code normal to save $5 off of that value pack. That's right. <laughs> and they're for real good. Those aren't tasty. Jill Biden. Speaking of tasty treats. Jill Biden. You guys know Jill Biden? I've heard of her. He's the, uh, she's the Mr. <laughs> Jill Biden is the uh, president's Why? wife. <laughs> she's the first lady of the United States of America and a doctor. Yeah, yeah supposedly. A doctor in quotation marks. Aiden, she's a doctor. Dr. Jill Biden has COVID. Yeah, I heard. I know. And she's vaxxed. Two vaxes, two vo- boosters, two positive COVIDs. That's right. She's got a uh, she's got three of a kind. I actually think we have a photo of her. Do we? Let's mm-hmm. see. Yes, there she is. <laughs> she's not looking her best. <laughs> but she's doing better. That's her. Uh, she's decided to lock herself <laughs> in her basement. Um, which there's always smoke for some reason. And uh, she's currently experiencing only <laughs> mild <laughs> symptoms. Uh, Joe Biden tested negative. Um, and uh, Jean-Philippe said Joe Biden will now wear a mask indoors. Uh, here's a clip from the press conference. President Biden tested negative last night for COVID-19 and tested negative again today. He's not experiencing any symptoms. As far as the steps he is taking, since the president was with the first lady yesterday, he will be masking while indoors and around people in alignment with CDC guidance. And as, as has been the practice in the past, the president will remove his mask when sufficiently distanced from others indoors and while outside as well. Smooth. <laughs> oh, yeah. He'll be masking indoors and outdoors and around doors when outside as well. <laughs> <laughs> so when he's close to people, he'll be doing absolutely nothing. But when he's far away, he'll continue doing absolutely nothing. That's correct. Well put. For everybody's safety. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, and of so. course, this will be the 78th time both of them have had COVID and they've both beat it. Mm hmm. I was I, I was performing last week at the um, at a club in Des Moines, and uh, it was a sold out show except for five people who came in, and they were masked people, and I was on stage making fun of masks, just saying that I, you know like hey let's do something that didn't work the last time let's go get on board, and then talking about people though because I saw somebody on the plane who had the full painter suit. And it's like, why go on a plane? Why do anything? You know what I mean? Like, like a hazmat suit, kind hazmat of thing? suit with the full, yeah, the whole thing. That's wow. That's I've seen, back. I've seen a lot of masks, and I've seen a couple shields. One which suit, was, but I have not seen the uh, the full on garb. The full, the full suit came back. Where it's like, why go anywhere? Well, because you, know, you have bees to keep. Well, of course, <laughs> <laughs> of course you do. But it's like, what are you doing? You're not making meth, and you're certainly not making friends. Where, Where is it you're going that anybody wants to talk to you? Nobody's like, who's that guy over there in the corner who's covered head to toe in a hazmat suit? You're like, it's my friend John. You want to go say hi? No. No, I'm good. Yeah, he seems neat. He's good. <laughs> Seems like a seems like a ton of fun. Who's going to get that? Where do you need to go that's going to be that important for you to be that Hopefully your Detective. funeral, but I was I making fun of it on stage, and all of a sudden I looked in my to my right, and there's a woman wearing a mask, standing deliberately under the light, under a light, arms folded, and just glaring at me. 
Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, she's getting her check right now because she's mad I made a mask joke. And, she, and the, the bouncer's like nodding his head, yes. Seriously? Yeah. So she leaves and is upset. And then f- four other people leave who had masks because they're upset. And she's saying she's going to get a lawyer and she's going to sue the club because of what I said, because it was so offensive and wrong. And she's allowed to wear masks anywhere and she should never be made to feel like that. So she's going to have a lawsuit against the club because her husband is a lawyer. And that's where we're at already because I gently teased the fact that I thought masks were silly on airplanes. Mm -hmm. That's where we're at, Canada. That's where we're at already, though. At the idea that it just started getting brought back up, you know, and and sure it has Oh, she never stopped. Well, no. Well, she never stopped. But of course, now that there's an election year coming up, not that that has anything to do with anything. No. But- it's still being you all of a sudden have that now where it's taking the stand but where's the proof that did she get in her face to yell at you no she left oh that would have been the irony they want like the one of them wanted a refund and was like in fairness to the one that wanted a refund said i guess i should have googled him (laughs) it's like yeah that's true you you could have you were outside the first pictures that come up to me i come up with me are probably with people you hate I just can't, uh, again, you did it, you're joking around with somebody at a comedy club. Yeah. You weren't doing, you didn't, you know, unsolicited attack somebody at a grocery store and say, by the way, this, uh, your mask doesn't work. <laughs> you look like a jackass. Why are you doing this? I didn't even attack her. Yeah. You just attacked just the, in general, the, the idea, idea of, that, of wearing a mask. And that they were coming back. Yeah. That was it. That I noticed that there were a lot more on my flight. So when I was on my flight, I was saying how I couldn't taste food and I felt feverish. Mm-hmm. And that was it. And it, yes, it was enough for her to get up and then, you know, cause a stir to let everybody know that she's wearing a mask, which I do find it funny that she's sitting in the back of a very crowded room in just a mask while everyone's laughing at it. And mm-hmm. she's just sitting there like, just pissed. And why are you there, though? You're surrounded right. by people. Leave, then. And that's what she did, but she had to make a scene and threaten to sue everyone. because It's it's a Saul Rosenberg-type lawsuit. Well, you know what this is? This is something that where somebody said something to her before. This was like probably the culmination of her day. Like yeah. She walked out wearing a mask, and then somebody somewhere, whether it was a friend or whomever, said, you know, you really you look stupid. And a lot of people said... You look stupid. And then you happen to be the finishing touch at the end of her day at the comedy club. And then you made fun of masks. And all of a sudden she's like, all right, I've had it enough. I'm not going to take. I can't deal with it. I'm not going to take it anymore. I'm going to sue the comedy club for this. Which is going to hold up in court. <laughs> They're going to be like, so you went to I a would, comedy I club? I would fly to Des Moines to watch the proceedings. I don't think it would make it. They'd be like, so you didn't like the thing he said about masks at the comedy club? That's right. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if she was in Montreal, she might have a case. She but, might. Yeah. For real. She might win it. Yes. What's your take on it? Uh, she's an idiot. Well, that we know. Uh, but what's your take on the whole new, uh, you know, Biden's got the COVID. Is Jill, of course, Dr. Jill. Uh, she has a cold. Do you think <laughs> we should shut down everything again? <laughs> yeah, why not? It'll work this time. Let's give it a shot. Yeah, I say we make everybody shut. Why do I think it's a good idea? We shut down restaurants. We make them build a restaurant on the sidewalk. Then we make them cover it. And we make we put the arrows back down in the grocery store. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's going to work out perfect. Six feet too. away. Then yes. we can have riots. And we light stuff on fire because racism, and then we're free to go. Right. And then we'll put some Proud Boys in jail for 30 years. <laughs> yeah. I'm just laughing that, that literally I like how they make such a big deal out of Biden not getting it. I'm like, Joe, the pa- <laughs> this Paleolithic fossil is literally having sex with COVID. Well, but- how and he didn't get it. Well, but how dangerous is it then? Right. There's a 13 year old girl named COVID. <laughs> <laughs> no, he couldn't sniff her properly because he was wearing his mask. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's taking a shower with COVID. All right. <laughs> I just think it's another thing that they're amping up already to just scare you, and it's, it, it bothers me because it's so effective immediately. It's the same as you still see people jogging and wearing one. It's like, I understand if you want to feel safe, but how does that make you feel safe? It's just, it, it's <laughs> right. ludicrous to me. Does it really, like, if you're jogging? I mean, if you're jogging, 
You're wearing a mask. You're like, this is I'm gonna be healthy. Yeah, if you're doing high elevation <laughs> training because your next, you know, track meet is in Denver, all right, and then put on a an elevation training mask. You're not wearing a stupid COVID mask. No, but you're wearing a doctor mask like Dr. Jill Biden. Yeah, there's, but the thing is, like, there's so many people who I would have given them the benefit of the doubt and say, oh, they don't have the time to, you know, study this stuff and pay attention and find out that it doesn't work. But, you know, they're probably out of a job because of COVID. So you'd think they'd have some downtime to figure it out. Right. Or they'd realize that they haven't gone into the office more than two days a week in the last three years to kind of think about it. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, maybe this, maybe things have changed. That's fine. Yeah, try to just collapse the entire economy of the nation again, and I think it'll be good. And you have well, and I'm curious if she even has COVID. I doubt it. I mean, it wouldn't even surprise me if this was something that they just said. Again, once something. again, stir the pot. Like, and yeah, I, Joe doesn't have it. I know. Mm -hmm. And didn't Joe <laughs> have COVID seven times already? Um. Several. I think if he if he catches it one more time, he gets like a free sub, <laughs> free he ice does. cream cone. Yeah, he gets eight free boosters. Yeah, you get one for every booster. We definitely a have heart. a video of him saying that you wouldn't get COVID if you got the shot. Let's take a look. The the, the various shots that people are getting now cover that. They're, they're you're okay. You're not gonna you're not gonna get COVID if you have nice these stroke vaccinations. Guys. Yeah, mm -hmm. you're not gonna get COVID if you get these vaccines. What about the t six times you got it? I don't know. He, he talks exactly <laughs> like somebody who's lying and trying to keep the story straight, you know? Yes, but mm -hmm. also it's pudding time. <laughs> He's also talking like someone who just left Burning Man. Yeah. <laughs> He's trying to recollect. <laughs> been, been up for six days on designer drugs and not really sure what happened. All right, well, I don't I have know. a lot of empathy because that's what I sound like normally. Am I kidding? You're not. You do not. No, you don't. You have a lot of life compared to Joe Biden, please. <laughs> a lot of spunk. He might have more spunk, but you have a lot more mm. life. Mm. <laughs> what a compliment. I know. He does, though, doesn't <laughs> you see, You're such a piece of garbage. I am a piece of garbage. <laughs> hey, compared to Biden, you are spry. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the home and tell people that. Hey, Mitch. McConnell. You. <laughs> Why do we allow these people to keep getting abused? Because they're puppets. I mean, pretty much, right? Yeah, they're not in charge. No. Yeah, they're... Biden's going to keep his COVID mask on, and Barack Obama's going to keep his Biden mask on. That's what's yeah. going on right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is true, and then Mitch is just going to keep, you know, somebody's going to keep pouring wire into the circuit breakers. <laughs> Or water. They're elected. <laughs> literally, everybody keeps I bringing him back. He literally looks like an animatronic that's having errors, you know? He does. He just looks like he's glitching. And he just stares. Mm -hmm. He looks like he should be looking out a window in an old folks' home while you quietly discuss plans. <laughs> <laughs> Even though he's in earshot. You bring the attorney in. It doesn't in. matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter at all. So just... get, get Dad to sign this thing now. Yeah, you're like, let's see if we can, just while he's somewhat perky. Well, he, get him to sign this while he still knows his name. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> then have somebody do last rites and then pull the tube. Because that's really all he's worth. Speaking of food, <laughs> a lot. recently uh, I forced Garrett to eat an inhumane amount of food at Dick's Last Resort. Uh, the challenge was to eat two steaks, a hot dog, nachos, a double side of loaded mashed potatoes, and a double side of buttered broccoli with a side salad all in one hour. But before we get to that video, we want you to vote on what gross food he should eat in the UK. <laughs> Look at these choices. Oh my! The options are: uh, is that l laver, lar laver, laver bread? I mean, these are yeah, we don't lar lar laver bread, larver bread, jellied eels, haggis, Ugh. <laughs> black pudding, Ugh. spotted dick. I've had plenty. <laughs> Stargazy pie. <laughs> Stargazy. There's like a fish head. Sounds like a dancer at a strip club. I know. Hey, Stargazy. <laughs> So what you can do is look at any one of these delicious entrees and go vote on the poll. 
posted in our YouTube community or click the link in our description now. Here's the food challenge. Yeah. You got this, son. Okay. What are you gonna go with first, though? I'm thinking salad. It's covered in cheese, so. Yeah. It's a you, you people kind of salad. Well, I don't wanna look at the hot dog either, because. Uh, you could just loosen your throat <laughs> and get it all at once. Okay, I think I'm ready. Still. Five, Why are we doing this? Four, you have to have two. Three, That's my water. Two, is it? One, Can you give Wait, water? is there a time limit on this? Yeah, one Oh, hour. shit. Oh, it's uh, medium well. Ordering stuff on the side? What's going on? All right. Really? Thank you, Johnny Cage. All right. So. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, this looks pretty good. You got it. It was glizzing. Going for the glizzy. I'm impressed. Look at that. Look at it, all the shit just falling right off of it. You got it, man. Gotta get it. Oh, You're my boy, Blue. Oh yeah, how is it? It's probably pretty good, right? Sage says out. you got a big wiener. Yelled by a guy who has trouble finding his. What do we got here? As in true dick fashion, you get a hat. You gotta put that on the outside of my headband. Well, if you ever come here, don't order the burger. I'd do a shot. You want a shot? Are we allowed to do shots? Yeah. He can do a shot, right? Can I get the man a shot? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Try to pack it in. You got it. Working around. Do you need more alcohol? You want more booze? Let's get more booze in here. Can we get another shot? Nope. No. Double shot, please, of Grey Goose. Yeah. At 13 minutes left. I still have more than half a steak. You got it, ma'am. Is it Sam a dick? All my friends think I'm straight. That's not true. Nine times. <laughs> That's not true. Nine times in jail changed me. Actually, you're off by four. <laughs> it was 13 times. No, I'm serious. Count <laughs> doobie, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Got it, son. Patronize me. You really don't. I mean, I, I don't. Do. There's no way, and I don't want There's you to There's no die. way. You're trying to tell me to take breaks. You have eight minutes left. I, I, I it think, just, just, just. It, I think you should probably throw in the towel so you don't die. I'm not gonna throw in the towel. All right, I'm gonna go all the way. Well, you go all the way. The towel much? I don't want. I don't want to discourage you. But I'm. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna throw up. I don't want to see cold. it. I don't want to see it. Got it. I don't feel good, man. I would imagine you don't. I don't feel good at all. I. You might wanna. This would have been good, like. A year and a half ago, when I was eating all the time, I was eating all kinds of food. I was fat. I mean, this is impressive. All right, the shots are kicking in. And it's not a good thing. I don't know if that's good or bad. That's bad. <laughs> okay. All right. That was mostly just bubbles. Let's hope so. Bubbles from what? You've had no bubbles. From what? Not bad. Uh oh. You want a bucket? <laughs> All right, there you go. Let's do the step over here. Oh, no. Hey, yeah, Damn it! The oh. <laughs> you left. <laughs> Did you do it? Oh, yeah. Dang it! Well, now I got more space. I had 30 seconds left. God dang it! Your empathy knows no boundaries.
Dude, I was impressed. I got that was tell great. You. I love how you just put the bucket there. You're like, well, I'm just gonna stand over here. I gotta stand next to a puking man. What no, I get you. you no, know I'm glad I may cut his hair so I didn't have to hold it like he was a lady in a dorm room. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that was this, that was brutal, man. I had to wa- like. Ugh. I was gonna. I was thinking about doing the challenge too, and I know it's gonna sound uh, pussyish, but I didn't want to. They wouldn't take the jalapenos off, and I can't eat. I can't do that because my stomach. Mm. Not a jalapeno fan myself. I just that was the one part. I could have put that away though. You think you could have? Yeah. Do you You've wa- seen him eat? Do yeah. you do you want to do the challenge? Not really. You just dude. You just <laughs> oh dude, you would air. crush it. I will give you uh, $300 if you win the challenge. I'll do it. All right. We're going to bring you to Dick's. Kayla oh, thinks man. you could do it, too. I bet you you could. You just lost 300 You bucks. have to do it in an hour. Mm-hmm. No, I can. Are you shooting me? Yeah, He's a but, machine. I, dude, I've seen You've him seen eat. him eat. He's like I, a wood chipper. I've seen him eat. It's disgusting. But I think, I even Matt, though, I think is is overestimating himself. No, I don't know. Mm. I don't know. I'd like to see it. He's an incinerator. Mm-hmm. They said I, the only people that completed it were professional eaters. And they put it in a, <laughs> they they mashed it into like a puree <laughs> and then just like baby birded it into their face. What? Yeah, I know. They're garbage people. They mashed it. <laughs> like, honestly, they, they had just, just like crushed it with their, like, yeah. the, like a fork or something. And then. Yeah, they, no, they just like pulverized it. Into sm- like a small, like basically down into a fine paste. <laughs> How do you do that with steak? Well, you got to like cut it up into small okay. pieces and you you crunch everything together, make it small. And they like mixed it all together. Like, <laughs> like that hot dog is not just some hot dog. It's like this giant all. How big are the sticks? It's massive. How big are the sticks? They're New York strips. They're- oh, God. I put away two of those anytime I have to- New York strips. And a whole nachos and a uh, whole 12 foot. I'm not worried about you and the steaks. In fact, you, the steaks, and the hot dog, I'm not even worried about. Mm-hmm. You could probably eat a hot that hot dog in the car, bunless on the way there. <laughs> but I think that I think you're gonna have trouble. A twenty. Yeah. yeah, you've gotten us a lot of gas money over the years on the road. Um, Left a lot of happy truckers. Right. Yes. But I think I bet you. I think that you would get stuck on the mashed potatoes, maybe. And the nachos. Other than that, though, I think you could put it down. I like mashed potatoes. I, I, I think the, the, the broccoli might be a challenge just because that's mostly fiber. But like the, the steak, I, I can eat that much steak. It's solid. You know, it's a lot of fat, a lot of protein. But And then like the carbs are like empty carbs. But it's like I'm not discriminating either. I've I've done this at Golden Corral, people. <laughs> like our- Oh, no, I've done it. In ways, mm-hmm. like if that was a dessert uh, challenge, I would have I would have taken home two ribbons, but <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> well, I've had fr- I've had friends watch me at a buffet where I'll finish a plate and go, God, why am I doing this? And then get up for more. <laughs> <laughs> last time, last time we were here, we went out to eat, and yeah. then uh, th- like he finished his meal, and then uh, somebody else at the table couldn't finish theirs, and they went, Oh, hey. Hey, Matt, do you want this? And he goes, sure. <laughs> oh, it's gone. I mean, and just destroyed it. You're losing 300 bucks. Dude, I, I'll give him 300. I have gone out to dinner with him and his wife and his baby. And all three of us have pushed our meals over to him when we're not ready to finish it. <laughs> Only because he started to eat the baby. Yeah, I'm not kidding. We were like, leave her alone. I'm not even kidding. Like, we went to a fancy steakhouse, which I thought was uh, going to be comped. Turns out, uh, <laughs> whoops! Turns out, turns out there's a limit on yeah, cripple, crippling gambling addiction. Anyway, so there's <laughs> <laughs> there's cops to Way to get out in front of that. Yeah, yeah it's like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, you gotta start. think. You know his vice. You don't. You gotta start leaning it in, right? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. As soon as you start dipping your toes in the water, you can make jokes. Um, <laughs> anyway, no, but you and I went, and you, I saw you put down some, uh, I've seen you put down some real meat. <laughs> I'm going to say that. And I've seen, honestly, this dude can eat steak. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, no, I love steak. I can eat steak. Yeah. <laughs> like, even where the waiter is like, sir, stop. <laughs> You're scaring the people next to you. Yeah. No, but I've done that. Uh, yeah, I've done that at Golden Corral. I've done that at a Caesars where my friend was alternating as we're walking back through the casino, walking past the statues and every. I'll just be leaning on a statue of Cleopatra, and he's laughing slash being concerned. 
<laughs> See, when you eat, though, you don't like. <laughs> it's true, though. I know. I've eaten with him where I've I've had backups where I've been hospitalized, and now that I think about it, I may have been on the road with him the week before, mm-hmm. possibly eating somewhere with you, mm-hmm. because you will be like, I don't know if I want to go there. Let's go to silly McSteaky <laughs> McFoods, where it's like because he won't eat he won't eat crap, but he will eat huge portions of healthy things. Okay. Typically, yeah, that's typically how I. But I'll eat, I'll indulge in crap every once in a while. It will. depends, you know. It depends on mostly circumstance, you know, and mostly like when I'm on the road, I have the tendency to just if there's nothing else to eat and that's the only thing that I can get via you know phone. Uh, I'll order a massive pizza and eat. And I just like, I have to put, I'm not saving it. I'm putting all of it down. Like when we were in Chicago, I ordered, you heard me order a Chicago style pizza. At night. Yeah. Yeah, I finished that. Yeah. And I believe you ate a Chicago style pizza in the green room just before you ordered the night Chicago pizza. Yeah. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Your your nighttime Chicago pizza was just before your second nighttime Chicago pizza. Mm-hmm. And look at them. I know. Yeah. All I have to do is get a head start on it with some workouts. I eat three slices of pepperoni at night. My titties jiggle for a month. <laughs> <laughs> well, you also go to the gym with me and spend an hour and a half texting on a curl machine. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, that's true. <laughs> right. I was going to say, first of all, it's not the curl machine. If you walk out, your T-shirt's immaculate, and you're like, I have my sweat glands removed, and that's why I don't sweat. They <laughs> did out of here. My back's always sweaty. That's at least what I tell you. <laughs> that's after you come out of the men's room. Yeah. All I know is I'm 60 bucks richer. <laughs> all right. Also, Matt eats like, and he doesn't talk when he eats. No. Oh, no. No, you eat with purpose. Well, no, because like, it, it, you eat like it's a Red Cross relief drop and there's no more planes coming. Well, it's like the only time <laughs> I have an excuse for having nothing to add. Well, if you have plenty <laughs> to add. The problem if Matt talks when he eats, it goes on to your food and now your meal's ruined. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I've watched him spit stuff onto my food where I'm like, well, that's great. I wasn't going to eat that. Like, yeah, I, I spit when I talk to it. Yeah. yeah. You're just a, I've, I, I know, Matt. It's you're, well, I've just had to apologize to people in the front row. I think we all do that, though. Oh, okay. You, you develop a certain amount of cotton mouth on stage. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's sitting across from you eating my food, and then one of the your steak pieces lands yeah. on mine, and I have to be like, well, I guess I'm finished. Yeah. And then Matt just stares at it. Yeah, and I'm like, here, did you want to eat that, too, you he, lumberjack? He just eye rapes your steak. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> Look at his face. If he asks for your food, you just give, give it, it to him. him. <laughs> like prison. <laughs> just, give, just give him your belt. <laughs> <laughs> give, me your, give me a cocktail, fruit, and your pants. All right, before we go into our final segment, which is going to be called The End of the World, we do want to let you know of some upcoming dates. October 5th, you can see... Derek, why don't you go ahead and let them know you. I'm going to be at the uh, Lebowski Center for the Arts in Owasso, Michigan on Thursday, October 5th. And then uh, October 6th in uh, Lexington, Michigan at the Lexington Theater. And then October 7th in Bay City, Michigan at the uh, State Theater with uh, with Dave Landau on both of those dates, October 6th and October 7th. I'll Lexington, Michigan, Bay City, Michigan. Go to my website, get the links for that, or go to uh, Dave's website. I'll be there. He will be there. Also, you can see Matt and I in Port Charlotte, Florida, September 15th and 16th. Isn't that right, Matt? And that's at Vasani's in Port Charlotte, where I will be eating steak. Yes, you're probably going to have the New York Strip, which is amazing there. They have amazing steaks there, if you got, and everything else, too, if you're so inclined. Also, the chicken a la vodka, amazing. Mm-hmm. Chicken parms, are, my wife loves their chicken parm. And I can have the olive vodka because the alcohol burns out of it. And if you don't like your meal, give it to Matt. Honestly, <laughs> you can seriously walk by him and he will give you one of his shirts for a steak <laughs> <laughs> that he's selling or the one he's wearing, probably. Uh, September 30th, you can see me in Carson City at the Carson City, uh, Nevada Nugget. And also, you can see me. <laughs> Carson Nugget Casino. I don't know why that came out so weird. Derek's going to be with me. Let me try that again. 
September 30th, you can see me, Carson City, Nevada, at the Carson City Nugget, as well as September 22-23 at the Wonders Theater in Myrtle Beach. That's right, Myrtle Beach. I'm coming back to you, and I'm excited. It's been a while. Love that city. Dirty Myrtle. Dirty Myrtle. Lots of human trafficking, but I'm going there to put a stop to it. You are a crime fighter. Yep. I'm probably not going to put a stop to it, but I will be taking advantage. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I would I would call the police and help anyone who needs help. Call 1-800-KISS-DAVE. <laughs> the same way that Dave helped Quarter Black by putting a bucket in front of him. Yeah, and stepped out of the way. I'm not helping a friend puke. I'm 41. I got, I got you. Okay. Unless you are a girl and we were teenagers and I'll hold your hair. Mm -hmm. I guess I would do that. I would do that, you know. Mm -hmm. I do that for a, for for a, for a gal who needed help, and I will be with Dave with Derek after Dave is killed by human traffickers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'll be posing as a drunk girl who needs her. Hair yeah, I'll be like, needs her hair pulled back <laughs> while she pukes. Hey, Mister, I'm pretty drunk. <laughs> you want to you want to do stuff? <laughs> What's your name? Help me. That's a weird name. That's weird. Now, welcome to. End of the world. This is where we're going to ask a question of everybody here. But first, let's talk about what that question will be. A Nazi group called the Goyim Defense League, based, uh, protested outside of <laughs> Disney World in Florida. What is the main reasons they were there near Disney World? They protested because Auschwitz was originally called the happiest place on earth. That's a fine answer. <laughs> Matt, why do you think that these Nazi groups, this Nazi Goyim Defense League was protesting near Disney World? They were upset that everyone who gets off the monorail survives. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to guess that they were boycotting the new Disney Plus series, Winnie the Jew. Oh! Thank you. All right, everybody. Tune in tomorrow. We have a brand new normal world. Same time, same place. All covered in butter. <laughs>